Hi everyone, we are back and we're going to do our problem one on exam one for probability and statistics. So uh, we're playing a game of chess. There are 32 pieces. We can see them uh, basically written in here. Let's go ahead and you can see that. Um, put all these pieces bad, mix them up, uh, and it's the following. What's the probability of pulling a pawn or a black king? So a pawn or a black king. So we have to think about, are these probabilities uh, mutually exclusive or are they not mutually exclusive? So pull a pawn or a black king, is there something that can cancel those out? No. So probability of pulling a pawn, you can see here we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the probability of a mu b is just going to be half. Black king plus 1 over 32, and that's it. What about the probability of pulling a rook or a black bishop? Similar. So black bishop, that's going to be 1 over 32, plus probability of pulling a rook. It will be basically a, if we do a rook, actually, a black, yeah, black bishop is, ooh, actually, excuse me. Let's do this formally. Um, black king is definitely 1 out of 10. So probability of a mu b so probability that i pull a rook is going to be what uh rook one two three four four over 32 plus um black bishop so how many black bishops do we have one two two out of 32 there you go fantastic so now i pick a piece out of the bag and i pull out uh i pull a rook out of the bag what is the probability that the first peak piece was also a rook. So this is going to take a little bit. So pick a piece. It's a rook. So we need to do, we're going to do our Bayes theorem now. So let's go ahead and let's set up our expression for Bayes. So we need to know what's our known. And basically we're going to be doing all, you know, these conditional probabilities again. So let's go ahead and let's get this set up for Bayes' theorem. So we are going to have our, we have to define what's our A and what are, what are our possibilities uh, that we can kind of see what's happening. Here. So let's go ahead and get that started now. So we need to see basically what is our A scenario, what is our B scenario. So, so we're trying to calculate probability of B sub R given that A has happened. And that is going to be equal to the probability that we want B sub R times probability of A occurring given that B sub, you know, basically sub R has happened over the sum of all of those probabilities. So we need to define, so our B sub one is that the first piece was a rook. And it could also be, two would be, it could be a king. It could be a queen. B sub four, it's gonna be a bishop and Let's see, rook, king, queen, bishop, b sub 5 is knight, and b sub 6 is pawn. And a uh, is basically we have, we pulled out a rook. Pull a rook. So we pulled the rook out of the bag. So let's go ahead we can list out some of these probabilities. And actually, I'm gonna put them in Mathematica right now anyways as well. Um, and actually, we're going to clear everything here. Clear, clear, clear. Yep. So what is the probability? So PB1. So what's the probability again that the first piece was a rook? Actually, let's do basically king. So a king, there's only two kings, so it'd be two out of 32. Probability of 
Actually, that's PB2. Let's do PB1. Probability that it's a rook. There are four rooks, so four divided by 32. PB, PB2, there are two kings, so two divided by 32. Uh, PB3, which is the queen, is going to be equal to PB2. Um, PB4, bishops. There should be four bishops, so four divided by 32. And then PB5, knights equals four divided by 32. PB5, uh, actually this should be PB5. And then finally PB6 equals half. All right, so those are our values. We should just double check PB1 plus PB2 plus PB3 plus PB4 plus PB5 plus PB6. Make sure that equals one. So now we need to do P, the probability of A, B1. So what is that saying? So what's the probability that we pull, basically that I pull a rook given that the first one was also, uh, given that the first one, what is the probability that I pull a rook out of the bag given that the first one was a rook? So for example, if there are four rooks out of 32, the probability that I pull a rook after the first one, they would be three out of 31, right? Because I've already given the first one was a rook. And then the next one will be, so PAB2 is gonna be equal to, because now it's saying, what's the probability that I pull a rook given the first one was a king? That will also be, four, that'll be four out of 31, because I haven't changed the number of those values. And PAB3 will be equal to PAB2, PAB4 equals PAB2, PAB5 equals PAB2, PAB6 equals PAB2. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and say, I, we can write out our expression, PB1 times PB1 divided by, which is equal to, now we need to divide all this, divide it by, we're going to do this, divided by the sum of, plus, we're just going to copy this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we need to change this, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, Six, six, and then that's it. Three out of 31. That is it. Fantastic. Now we're asked to uh, calculate the confidence intervals for each data set. So what we're going to do, we are going to open up an exam prep here. We're given D1, D2, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and pull up our R code. And then we'll do t.test and then we'll be ready to roll. So let's wait till this opens up, then we'll read in all our values, and then we'll be ready to go. Remind me later. All right, so we've got our exam prep up, so we can read in our libraries here, read in all of our good functions, and now what we're going to do, we're also going to go to files, we are going to... We are, we're already in downloads, which is great. We're going to set our working directory. I'm going to put this in here. Copy, put it here. And now we're going to do, I'm going to do D1. Uh, we can do read.csv. And then we'll do D1.csv. Hopefully that is correct. Let's read that in. Excellent. Um, we can look at that data set. And so it's just one column. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make this D1, D2, D3, D2, 
boom, boom, great. So now we can do, for example, D1, bracket, bracket one, pull out the first column. We've got our numbers. Now we can do t.test, and then we can do comp level equals 0 0.90. What is it, 90.95? So there's our confidence interval, fantastic. What is the question actually asking us to do? It's looking for 90.95, 99. So we'll just copy this here. 95, 99. Let's do here. 95, 99. So we got one, two, three. We got it here. So we can see those values. And now you can just copy the code here for the rest of them. And then we can just go two, and three, two, 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 three, 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 boom, 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 boom. And there we go. That is it for our problem one. Nice. We'll see you for the next problem. Bye.